What does an engineer do? How do they think? Are there any benefits of thinking like one? When children play, they often say, I want to be a doctor, an astronaut, a fireman. But why never an engineer? Going through high school and university myself, I didn't know what they did. One reason why I became one was due to a quiz. They asked for my likes and dislikes and their outcome engineering. Engineers are seen to provide a good contribution to society, but there's limited understanding in the community of what they actually do. Everybody I know wants a better future, whether it's for themselves or the community. And I believe thinking like an engineer can provide it. I'm not asking everybody to become one, but to consider thinking like one. How would I inspire you to think like an engineer? First, we should start off identifying what they actually do. Imagine your favorite cake. Picture it in your mind. The wonderful smell, the delicious taste, that nice texture. How awesome would it be if you were able to make this great cake? You're at that point of time where you're pulling this perfect cake out of the oven. But to get to that moment, you would have to embark on a great cake-making journey. You start off with a basic recipe. You follow it through. Your first attempt, it turns out too sweet. So you tweak your recipe slightly and make it again. This time, it smells good, looks great, but when you take that bite, it's just too dry. This doesn't stop you, though. You carry on. You know what the end goal is, and you get to that moment where you just bake that perfect cake and everything is just right. The smell, the taste, the texture. That point right there is a fist pump moment. And that's practically what engineers do. They solve problems, typically on a different scale to baking a cake. But it can include making mankind's greatest cake. So how does thinking like an engineer provide a better future? It's simple. They make things work and make things work better. It's a great feeling being able to make things work. And who's going to disagree that making things work better is not good? If you were to identify the main skill set used to do this, that would include visualization, problem solving, improving things, and learning from past experience. These skills naturally occur within all of us. And it's the same skill set you would develop if you were to bake that favorite cake. I mentioned one of the reasons why I became an engineer was due to a quiz. However, growing up, I actually dismantled a lot of things around the house in an attempt to figure out how they work and fix things. I probably destroyed more items in the process than actually fixing them. During the period of putting up Christmas decorations one year, my mother came home with new Christmas lights for the garden. They were fairy lights shaped as stars and candy cane. I was very excited. I took them straight out of the box and installed them in the garden. When I had to power it up, I was faced with a problem. The plug wouldn't fit into the socket. The plug itself looked very similar to the plug from the electrical equipment that we had bought from Hong Kong. I knew how to fix this. I knew where the adapters were kept. Didn't have to bother my parents whatsoever. Using the Hong Kong adapter, I plugged it in the wall and turned it on. The stars, they went extremely bright and they sparked. The candy cane, they fizzled and smoked. They stopped working. I was saddened by this and felt that these, these lights were just defective. I gave them back to my mother and told her it didn't work. On the same night, she had gone out and replaced them, and I received a new set. I was cheered up and excited again. I took them straight out of the box and installed them in the garden. Again, when I got to the point where I had to plug it in, I was faced with that same problem. And believing that the previous sets of light was just effective, I used the same Hong Kong adapter. I plugged it in the wall and turned it on. The lights, extremely bright, sparked. 
fizzled and smoked. They stopped working. I thought to myself, it's very unlikely that there'll be two sets of lights from the shops that wouldn't work. So I investigated. I had a look inside the box and I found a set of instructions. And under the instructions was an adapter, a lot bigger than the one I had used. And that was my problem. I gave the lights back to my mother, who was not impressed at all. What I learned from this was, take everything out of the box <coughs> and always read the instructions. Another device I attempted to fix was the hairdryer, located in the children's bathroom. The power cable had deteriorated and came off. I knew if I plugged it in, it wouldn't work. I could see the colours of the wires though, brown and blue. Using a pair of scissors and sticky tape, I stripped the insulation back and connected brown to brown and blue to blue. I used the sticky tape to hold it in place. I plugged it in the wall and turned it on. Guess what happened? It worked. It worked for a few nights until one evening I turned it on. A bright blue explosion occurred in front of my face with a loud crack. Immediate afterwards, the house went pitch black. I had cut power to the home. I told my parents about the faulty hairdryer and we threw it away. We threw it away. I recall thinking to myself, I probably didn't use enough sticky tape at the time. I am an electrical engineer now. And I calculate the energy associated with electrical explosions, known as arc flash. And that hairdryer incident was my first arc flash experience. Being exposed to problems like these while growing up has cultivated me into wanting to make things work and make things work better, which has now allowed me to connect people's homes and accommodation villages to electricity. I also ensure large facilities such as Mindsight operate safely by addressing electrical explosions. Imagine what it would be like if the young generation today developed their mindset into wanting to make things work and make things work better. I truly believe we would accelerate achieving things beyond our imagination. As a community, we should support student activities that help foster problem-solving skills, imagination, improving things, and particularly learning from mistakes. Patience and a little bit of money may be needed to fix broken equipment around the house, such as hair dryers and Christmas lights. But it's a small price to pay for a better future, especially if we end up with mankind's greatest cake by developing those that want to make things work and make things work better. <laughs>